Hello my wonderful weasels, welcome back to the game cave. Weasel Bandit here, we will continue in Frost, the mod for Fallout 4, where last time we got some very good stuff. And uh, I'm still a little winded from playing the last episode, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was full, it was fulled with action. It was filled with action and it was fulled with action. Yeah. And right now I am just curious to see what really goes on inside the combat zone here. Let's just do a quick save and head inside. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna die like right away when we go inside, but uh, yeah, let's see what, what they've got in here. Show me what you got! And I remember the combat zone actually being difficult to infiltrate at low levels in the vanilla game, so I'm just thinking, wow, in this in this uh, mod and this overhaul, it's gotta be like impossible to do. All right, let's uh, open the door. Okay, we can actually open the door. Fair enough, let's just close it all off. But there's still sounds coming from in there. Fair enough. So, yeah, I guess that's one way to make sure that, uh, well, one easy way to make sure that things aren't exactly as they are in in vanilla. Fair enough. I can accept that. All right. I'm wondering if my health actually actually regenerates over time here. Uh, let's see. Seven HP out of a hundred and nine. So if that increases, then I will then I will leave it. If it doesn't increase over time, then I will uh, then I will take something to increase it, to heal myself, to give myself some health points, so that I may live. Yes. Yeah. Don't know what that was. Oh, that's closed up. I thought it was a door. Uh, 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 it would be extremely nice to find some bandages. Or... Oh, oh. There's a machine gun turret. I don't want to... Go, to go near that. Yeah. Alright. Save and... Yeah. The thing about avoiding combat that I said in the in the first episode with Simon, it uh, it doesn't really seem to be working. Cram, eat it. Cram it down my throat. Cram the cram down my throat. Okay, what is this? Warren Theater. Ominous. Interesting. And. Uh, Possibly deadly. We'll see. Alright, have my health increased? It hasn't, so I don't think that I can that I can count on it increasing on its own. Which means that I'll have to drink some... Oh, actually, it is increasing now that I have eaten something, or... No, okay, fair enough. Drink this. Uh, eat this. And drink this and save this for later. Great. Now I have at least begun to regenerate some health, so that's good. Ta 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 ta. Hey, more food! Yay! Oh, I have been spotted. <gasps> Ah, uh, cloth. Perhaps I can make a bandage. A bandage? Bandage? Actually, that's how you pronounce it in, Dan in Danish, pretty much. Bandage. Bandage. Oh, no, it's... It, 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 it is actually bandage in English. Bandage? What, what was I thinking that it, it was? Day tripper, what does that do? Luck, charisma, strength, 
Oh, okay, luck and charisma and minus strength and I'm guessing that's sanity. I don't know if, if that's something from vanilla or if it's something from this mod. Do you have to worry about staying sane as well as everything else? That doesn't really sound <laughs> very promising. <sighs> I am very, very... Uh, I can't find the word resistant. Uh, appalled to the idea, but not as strong as that work word. Uh, I don't like the idea of of going around these places, but uh oh, those are ghouls. And if there's one of them, I think it's safe to say that there are more of them. Okay, if I can get it on the other side of these chairs, I might be able to avoid the attack. No, I wasn't. Uh, uh oh, whoa, my health is dropping fast. Okay, fair enough, that's like a real, <laughs> a real radiant ghoul there. Okay, uh, let's try again and see if we can avoid being hit. The chairs are providing a good opportunity to not, uh, yeah, to not get hit. But we need to be careful, very, very, very careful. Yes. Uh, very careful. Okay, you ghoul, you get over here. Get on the other side of, of this chair. Yeah, oh no! Yeah, no! No! <laughs> it was so close! I'm gonna die. Oh, ah, I'm gonna die with no one to love me and no one to cry. <sighs> Okay. This is gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. I just need to be able to not get hit by that stinking ghoul. <sighs> right. So I'm gonna save here instead. And then I shall see. 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 Okay, ghouly thing. Ghouly monster. Yes, now I just need to hit you where it hurts. In the head. Whoa! Okay, apparently it can walk over the chairs. Okay, this is not good. This is not... This is... This... No! No! <sighs> okay, I'm gonna skip this because I know it can be done. I just need to get the right... Going. Uh, I don't trust my ability to aim here. Hmm. Nope. This will have to do. I did it. The ghoul is dead. Ding dong, the ghoul is dead. Ha 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 ha. Alright then. So, was that it for the stuff that was in here? Or can I find something that would actually make it worth my while? Black and West slags. Does that do anything? Uh, there it is. No, that does not. It gives endurance, but. Uh, I need damage resistance. Bowler hat. Nah, I've got my spiffy, my spiffy helmet here, that I am pretty fond of actually. Okay, vodka, vodka. Ah, oh, you want to drink with me? 
Uh, bobby pin! I've got bobby pins! How many bobby pins did I get? I don't know. Bobby pins, bobby pins, bobby pins. Miscellaneous. Bobby pin? Junk? No. What? Uh. Okay. Out of bobby pins. Okay, it was just a bob bobby pin box. Ah, uh, this is just no, no, no. I don't, I don't enjoy this. I don't like this. Jangles the moon monkey. Jangles the moon monkey. <sighs> no. Fair enough. That was a pretty big bust going up here. I got a bobby pin box. I got some vodka. So you really want to drink some vodka with me? Then we were. Then you would have to. Something, something. I don't know what to say in in this accent and with vodka. But I'll go back to the back bay, out of the door, out of the the theater that I was the theater that I was just in. And uh, I don't know why I'm talking in this voice now, in this accent. Uh, I don't even know if it's a correct accent. Strathfuci, many of would whistle bandit. Yeah, uh, So, yeah, I've got I've got in Russian mode apparently. So sorry about that. Uh, unless you speak Russian, then. There you go. I speak a tiny bit. Un poco. Uh, yeah. I don't know where to go. It's uh, it's pretty unnerving to be in a Fallout 4 environment without a quest to follow. Because usually there's always quests to follow. There's always something that you know, well, if I do this, then I should go over there, and then I'd be able to do that, and uh, and then I'll progress that way. That's pretty difficult. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult feeling to miss that when you've walked around for so long in a place like this. And side note here, I, uh, I actually... The first time ever I opened one of these uh, Pulowski preservation shelters here in Fallout 4, it was the one where there's a, a mini nuke inside, being clutched by a, a skeleton, skeleton, ugh, skeleton. And uh, so that that just means that every time I have uh, I've seen one of those, every time, no exceptions, every time since then, I'm hoping that there's some good loot in, loot in them, but there there never is. There's only just that one. Of them with a, uh, yeah, with a with a mini nuke inside. Okay, I want to. Who's there? I want to avoid those guys, so I'm just gonna go down this way. I should be able to soon. Uh, well, level up once more. And uh, yes. I, f I feel very vulnerable. Huh. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. I feel very vulnerable here. Uh, out in the open like this. With literally enemies in every direction that I'm looking. I am... I am very frightened for my life. Let's just let's just say that. Uh oh. Okay, so he's actually friendly. It would seem. Green letters. Does that mean that I've finally found a traitor? Not a traitor, a traitor. Look in the score. I got what you need. Yay. What are you? What are you? You never seen a ghoul before? Don't worry, I ain't gonna bite you. That's just the pharaohs. You gonna buy something? Sure. sure. Let me show you what I like. Ah, great to know that there's a vendor here. Uh, yeah, that's just amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna buy some of these, most definitely. Um, blood pack. That gives yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take. Everything that I can, that I, that I want to buy, and then I'm gonna sell him back and see if I've got enough for it. Ooh, sniper rifle. Oh, that would be good. I'm gonna see if I can 
Red X. Yes, please. But it's, it's really expensive. Wow. <sighs> Stim pack. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this place in my memory to go back to him. Right. Uh, I can sell you a postman's hat and a rough gas mask, and I can sell you some bourbon. Nah. Some moonshine. Some. Glowing fungus, some glowing fungi, some instamash, jet. Do you want jet? I have jet. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, jet fuel? Yeah. Medics? Mm. Uh, some. Mentats, Snooker Cola Quantum? Nah, I'm gonna keep that. This one? Sure. Uh, Psycho Buff. Stealth boy, whiskey. Okay, let's see. Beer bottle, bourbon bottle. No, oh, all of these, all of these. Yes, yes. I knew there was a reason I picked up all of those. Great. Whew. Amazing. That means that I would actually be able to perhaps. Oh yeah, I'm getting 150 caps, even though I'm buying a pipe sniper. Uh, a pipe sniper rifle. A sniper pipe rifle, uh, a piper sniper rifle, blood pack. Okay, okay, yeah, blood packs only costs three, so yeah, that's good. Uh, this I need something to get rid of radiation, except I've got that, so it's, it would actually be better to buy some some purified water. I can buy three of them. Uh, stim pack heals a lot. Right away, ooh, that's expensive. I'm not gonna buy th buy that. Okay, purified water is probably better. So, I'm gonna buy four of these guys. Can I do that? No, I can't. Alright, purified water, one over to him. Ex accept. Slim, you got that look. Like you Jones or something. Yeah. Uh, can I use your workbench? You mind if I use your workbench? Oh. Sure, why not? Maybe take that into consideration when you're thinking about what to buy. Whew. Great. Oh, and I can take this? Ha! Fair enough. Thanks, Slim. And I can sleep here. Ah, oh, I am... I'm so happy right now. What you're looking for? I am just so extremely happy. I'm gonna pick up everything that I can here and sell, sell it to Slim. And, uh... Yeah, uh, it's just so amazing. I am I am a very happy weasel right now. Extremely happy. Oh, is that a Mr. Handy? A friendly Mr. Handy, no less. Hello. Sir? Hello there. Good day to you. I wonder if this is actually uh I can't remember his name now. The, the Mr. Handy, the, the vanilla family hat that he's made different here. Hello there. Except that would f that would still fit if he was up in sanctuary. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the same voice or Cotsworth. That was that was his name. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I am I am extremely happy and very very glad. That I'm here now. Ah, oh, this is great. So, I uh, am gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for being in the game cave. I will see you back here in the next episode tomorrow. So, bye.